Hello everyone! This is Eliza Bonite. Again, welcome back to my channel. Before I share you our topic for today's, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and comment down below on this video. And don't forget to hit the notification bell upang uh, updated po kayo on how to join sa ating mga uh, pag-giveaways sa ating pong live stream. Okay, here guys, let's discuss first the marriage certificate from your municipality. So, we are going to discuss first. So, when you go back, when you get, when you go back to your municipality, ask about it. Of course, uh, they are going to give you, they give you this marriage certificate for sure. And of course, ask the instruction how you are going to get your marriage certificate from the main branch of PSA. Um, you know guys, there are applicants that share their experience that they had to wait more than six months, eight months, and other have wait like have waited like uh, had to wait like uh, one year. Do you want to wait that long, guys? Okay. Okay, guys. If you don't want to wait that long, please listen carefully. So, go back to your municipality and ask how are you going to request your marriage certificate uh, to get your marriage certificate from PSA. They are going to give you the instructions first is you have to bring it to the other office they are going to give you the address and the contact number and then uh, you go go to that office and then uh, that office will give you the transmittal the transmittal of uh, that you can bring to the PSA branch probably in Manila or somewhere you you somewhere your municipality municipality instruct you so guys you know they gonna give you this one this is the address of which main branch of PSA you are going to get your PSA request re, re, uh, to request your PSA so uh, you can go to PSA branch office which 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 uh, address that uh, they gave you and then you can go right away so you don't need to wait that long so when you get to the main office of PSA somewhere uh, your municipality instruct uh, instruct you um, of course you are going to show it you are going to uh, submit it to them and with with your marriage certificate from your uh, municipality and then they are going to read and check it out everything about here and they and then you are going to uh, they are going to tell you if you can if your marriage certificate is ready to uh, ready to pick up or you might have to wait like two to three months and you just have to pay not so bad you don't need to pay as much you know just think you don't need to pay as much so 300 pesos only so guys uh, guys uh, I would like to remind you and uh, to warn you that don't ever ever get fixer to assist you how you will have a marriage certificate because you are going to pay them then then at the end of uh, uh, at the middle of your in the end or middle until the end of your your uh, processing documents you will realize that your all documents like marriage license or marriage certificate I mean sorry uh, fake so don't 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 ever ever trust other people to assist you for that so guys we are not done yet so you know that uh, this marriage certificate the from PSA you you are not going to to take it with you when you are going to have interview in uh, US Embassy without the red ribbon because if you if your mass marriage certificate don't have the red ribbon which mean uh, 
it's gonna be a problem for your visa you probably get denied uh, you probably get denied because you know uh, the the very um, the very important of this marriage certificate uh, when you are going to bring it with you and show it your proof that you are le legal wife or legit that you are the wife you are the spouse so that uh, they you can get your um, uh, spousal visa uh, they are relying uh, uh, they are relying uh, also if your marriage certificate ha marriage certificate has red ribbon from DFA because uh, after you getting this uh, marriage certificate from PSA of course you have to bring it to the to take it to the uh, bring with you to the DFA and show it to the DFA give it to them and then the DFA will investigate if you are if your uh, marriage certificate is fake or original or not fake so if they don't give you or they don't attach red ribbon on your marriage certificates uh, probably there's something wrong probably it's fake or just don't get nervous just go back to your municipality where you get married probably uh, something is just something's a little bit wrong so just a little probably wrong so uh, if the DFA uh, gave you the red ribbon to be attached on your marriage certificate uh, well congratulations because you can now bring it to the US Embassy when you have an schedule for your uh, visa interview so guys I hope this video will help you and just uh, message me or comment down below on this video and if you have more questions and more information that you want uh, me to to uh to to answer and if you need more help tips and whatever just please comment down below on my uh, on this video and please thank you so much for watching guys and Bye-bye!